Oh, guys, and just like that, it feels like the season is over. Welcome back to Operation Arsenal. Another loss. Things aren't going very well now, are they? Um, I'm not. I'm not really sure where to start today because it it just felt like a bit of a a game of nothing. If you look at our lineup there, which you could argue is probably our strongest team right now, none of them stood out. It felt very flat, very flat. And I guess you could say we probably lost the tie at the Emirates by giving away those stupid goals. And of course, tonight, just not putting in enough of an attacking threat. It, it just, it just, we weren't our typical attacking side. And that's okay. If you if you go to a game like this away from home, you're against Bayern Munich, who, let's be fair, have been pretty underwhelming this season. I would have absolutely loved this draw a couple of weeks ago. You know, obviously it, it was somewhat recently we found out, but if you told me weeks and weeks and weeks before you'll end up playing against Bayern, I would have absolutely taken it. And here we are, knocked out by them, despite their underwhelming season. I can understand, though, it, it doesn't matter. Form goes out the window a little bit in these big knockout games in tournament football. It's all about the performance on the day. And Arteta's gone in, I think, with a bit of a defensive approach that maybe was just a little bit too safe. But again, that's OK, because if if Gabriel Martinelli scores his chance in the first half and we go 1-0 up and we drag out the rest of the game, a clean sheet we win the tie, we're through, then everyone's saying Arteta got it right. It's it's fine margins in football. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be positive because there are obviously silver linings to being knocked out right now. Although no one wants this, no one wants another loss, no one wants us to be out of the Champions League in the quarterfinals. We were so close to getting to the semifinals um, and we haven't been there, as you guys know, for a long time. Um, God, I wasn't even an adult when we last got past this stage um i've lost my train of thought now i think what what i'm the, the silver linings that's what i was saying what what i'm trying to get at here is at least look at some of the positives and that is okay we've got to a quarter final of the champions league in our return to the champions league with a lot of players that have never played in the champions league um you know, Saka, you could argue, one of our biggest players over the last few years. We're relying on Bakayo Saka to carry us to victory when he's not in form. He's having a really tough time at the moment. And he's playing in a competition he's never played in. A game as big as this, he's not used to this kind of big night. And I'm trying not to make excuses, but these are the reasons. It is as simple as that. If you look at the buy-in side, they've just got that little bit more experience, older players, um... Players that have been playing Champions League football for a lot longer, in most cases. The other silver lining is we now have six games left this season. Six games. Premier League finals. <laughs> and we can just go all out. The season feels over. It feels over. But in reality, it's not. We've got the best goal difference in the league. If City draw and we win, we're on top. It is quite literally that simple. And... I'm keeping an eye on the other game, um, Real Madrid and Man City. It's currently 3 all. Well, hang on. No, that was... Let me double check here. That was 3 all in the first tie, wasn't it? The first leg. So it's one all at the moment and they're into extra time. So, um, again, losing my train of thought. What was I trying to say there? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a bit... Um, I'm I'm feeling flat after that result because it just feels like nothing happened. It feels like we didn't lay a finger on them. I'm trying to think now through the entire game, what what big chances did we have? The Martinelli shot, which I really believe he should be tucking away. I think in the Premier League he scores that. Was it the occasion that got to him? I don't know. Um I think Erdegaard had a shot which was tipped past the post very clearly and they gave a goal kick which was nice um it's about it really isn't it <laughs> oh Jesus oh man Jesus didn't really make an impact he had I can think of maybe one or two okay moments one of them 
he's very clearly offside and, and it didn't look like he really attempted to stay onside. And OK, play on. Let's see what he can do anyway. And the composure or lack of composure, I should say, to not even get his shot on target. If you watch the game, you'll know the, the, the chance I'm talking about. It's shocking. And then we're throwing in Ketier on. Really frustrating. It really is. Um, why was I talking about the City Real Madrid game? I think one thing that's very clear is we want City to go through now, right? Because they would then have more games to play. It's going to put a bit more pressure on the squad. They're, they're, they're going to have to rotate a little bit in the Premier League, potentially. Do we realistically think City are going to drop points in the league? I, I just don't know. Well, six games left, six wins needed. It is as simple as that. Do I think the team can do it? Of course I do. Do I think they'll do it? No. I think we will be dropping points. We'll have a look in a moment at the fixtures. But um, let's go through the team really quick. I'm going to give some player ratings. I don't normally do that, but uh, it feels kind of right today. Um, David Raya, I mean... I, I, I'm not going to blame him for the goal at all. And there were a couple of occasions where he was really tested today. So I, I think a solid six, seven out of 10, but nothing special. Ben White, um, I do feel like today was an example where I would have loved a Frimpong, um, a Kyle Walker, just that explosiveness, something that gets down the right side because... We had a massive issue with Saka being just absolutely drowned out of this game. If you look down at Bayern's left side, they obviously had a few injuries, but Guerrero, Rafael Guerrero, who's typically a left back or left centre mid or whatever, he's playing left mid. He's basically just in front of Masrari the whole game, doubling up on Saka. So I feel like whilst Ben White is pretty good at the overlap system and it, he, he is somewhat good at attacking, I do feel like he, he isn't a threat sometimes. Um, because of the the lack of explosive pace. But I would say a 6 out of 10 for Ben White. I think he was maybe our second best defender today. I think Tommy Asu actually might have been my man of the match. Um, I thought he was really good today in a position where we're clearly struggling at the moment. So fair play to Tommy Asu. I thought he was very good. Uh, Gabriel and Saliba, I, I think pretty average games for them. Um, looked a little bit nervy. In both legs, to be honest. I mean, they're not going to be perfect every game, and we all know what they're capable of, but today wasn't their day. I think probably both get a five. Tommy Asu, I'd give a seven. And then into midfield, um, Declan Rice, I actually feel like he's been a bit underwhelming in the last few games. He hasn't been his usual self. Um, probably a six for him. I thought Jorginho was very good until he came off. I think he, he's a very good player player he is a good footballer he's, he's a very intelligent player um and the thing that lets him down is unfortunately something he can't control and that's his age his legs have gone over the years he's he's never been a quick player but he definitely does get caught out and then the lack of pace really does hamper him um i would have liked to have seen Partey today if i'm honest but um Jorginho, solid six and erdegaard didn't offer enough again, maybe a six from him as well. And, and Saka just hasn't had a very good few weeks. Uh, he's getting absolutely tormented online for this constant limp he does after a game and when he gets subbed off. Or if he drops a stinker, everyone just says he always limps and pretends he's injured or whatever. Leave the guy alone. Everyone just loves to hate on him because of how successful Saka's been. And I'm seeing people saying that Palmer's better than him. And it's like, come on, guys. This is Bukayo Saka. He has been absolutely remarkable for so long, carrying this Arsenal team through this new era under Mikel Arteta, the guy has allowed a couple of off games. Like, geez, it's mental to me. Tonight wasn't a good game. Five. Probably a four, if I'm being realistic. He didn't he didn't get a chance to do anything. Completely marked out of the game by Masrawi, Guerrero, and even Lima dropping back. Havertz didn't offer enough. Probably a five. Martinelli, I didn't think was very good at all. A five. Overall, <laughs> it was a very average performance and it, it just wasn't enough on the night. It is as simple as that. Look at this. This is really poor from us. And I said it earlier that, you know, Bayern have had a really underwhelming season. This, this was our chance. I really strongly believe that um, 
we couldn't have picked a better time to play Bayern form-wise. They've been all over the place this season, losing to teams they really shouldn't be losing to. And obviously it's the first time in 12 years they failed to win the Bundesliga. <laughs> um, that's a positive. Kane didn't do well. Obviously he scored the penalty in the first leg, but realistically Kane didn't do anything against us. So that's that's a positive. But the negatives are, of course, that this is going to have a huge impact on the team. Going into the next few weeks, I mean, it, it's not going to go. It's not going to go well, is it? At this rate, oh, it's it's so bad to think that since the beginning of the year we were unbeaten until Sunday, and all of a sudden it's just this capitulation, and people are going to be throwing around the bottle term, and we deserve it. We 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 just deserve it. It wasn't good enough, Wolves. On Saturday, that's a really tricky game. And it just wouldn't surprise me if we come away dropping points there. Maybe a draw. And that wouldn't be good enough. We have to get green, 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 green. We have to win every single game. Ignore the Man United game. That's a club friendly. Why is that on here? <laughs> Why are we talking about friendlies? Let's just um, scroll up so you guys don't see that. that. That is the rest of our... Wait, hang on. Have I gone too far there? Wait, wait. There we go. I was going too far. That's it. Wolves away. Chelsea at home. The game, I'm trying to get to that one. I don't know if I'll be able to. Tottenham away. Bournemouth at home. Man United away. And then it will come down to the game against Everton at home. I think that'll be the one, you know. Can we do it? Leave a comment, please. I, I want to see hundreds of comments of just, yes, Arsenal can do it, or no, Arsenal won't do it. Because I want to get a general feel. I know a lot of People watching this might not be Arsenal fans and you kind of enjoy watching me get upset over losses and whatever, but there will be a lot of Arsenal fans here as well. But be honest, I'm telling you right now, okay, we're capable of it. And I fully believe the team has the capability and... Oh, I don't know. I was going to say that the bravery and, and, and they've got the mentality to do it, but... I just don't think we will. It's there. It's it's in it's in the team. You've seen it this season. When we want to, we are so good and so unbeatable. When we want to be so difficult to play against, we can do that. And then when the pressure's on, something clicks. We've got a coach that hasn't won enough games. Mikel Arteta is still early in his career and he hasn't been at this level yet, okay? Last season was the best we've been in terms of competing in the Premier League. And we're here again. This is it now. Boys, six wins from six. That is literally all we have to do. If we win all six, we will win the title because I think City will drop points and I think Liverpool will as well. But the realistic brain, the realistic heart in me, the realistic Arsenal blood, wolves away. Tottenham away, you just never know. Man United. It's going to be so tough. Thanks for watching, guys. Super sad that, of course, we're out, but um, it is what it is, and we have to turn this around.